What I wanted to focus on today, guys, is showing you how to do an AI. So Jonathan has never done an AI. So, all right, this is a little bit of an experiment. All right, guys, so this could go perfect or terribly wrong. <laughs> One or the other. We'll figure it out. <laughs> What's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you another quick episode of Breeders Hacks. So we got Ion and John and Kennels with us. Um, Jonathan brought uh, Capri through to knock out his breedings with crossbones. Um, we had talked about this for a little while back and forth, and I think it's gonna be a insane breeding. So anyway, long story short, I thought it'd be the perfect time to show you guys how to uh, do a proper AI, as well as um, how we use the three AI kits. A little bit of a better video. Um, I'm not gonna really show so much on how to pull and collect from the dog. We already have that episode. So this is really gonna be more about, um, I wanna focus more on how to properly perform an AI. So we did our progesterone and she was actually a 14, which is perfect to do an AI, you know, right under that 15 mark. In my book is perfect. We can do a 14 today. Um, we, we don't wanna really risk it and, and do the breeding tomorrow. So we're gonna do the AI today. Um, We'll go ahead and uh, we already did the progesterone, so we know what her numbers are. We're gonna go ahead and maybe put some of the semen under the scope, make sure the semen looks good, and then go ahead and uh, knock out our breeding, you know? So that's really what I wanted to focus on today, guys, is showing you how to do an AI. So Jonathan has never done an AI. So, all right, this is a little bit of an experiment. All right, guys, so this could go perfect or terribly wrong, <laughs> one or the other, we'll figure it out. So anyway, right, so, we're gonna let Jonathan try to do the AI. So I figured it would be perfect to, for people who don't know how to do an AI, allow someone who's never done an AI, and we're gonna show that person how to do an AI, so that then the questions he may have or the things that he may stumble on will answer your questions. At least it makes sense in my head. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> it makes sense in my head. So, all right. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to pull the juice from crossbones. Like I said, I have an episode already on that, on how to, you know, pull from your stud. So, that's not what this is about. So, we're going to go ahead and pull the juice from crossbones, and then we're going to go ahead and get ready to do our AI. So, we'll tap you guys back in when we're ready to do that. All right? Uh, break. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So, while Double Muscle Line Ant is going to pull from crossbones, I'm going to try to narrate, but... um. We're gonna have Jonathan set up the three-way AI kit. So um, if you didn't have a three-way AI kit, then you can easily use just a pipette and one of these syringes. Um, that's a traditional way to do an AI, but I find this method is also easier with females that like to move around and whatnot and stuff like that. So that's just what we use. We I, I like the three-way AI kit. That's what I stand by. So anyway, so you're gonna have your three-way AI valve. You're gonna go ahead and have your um, double syringes, you know, 10 cc syringes and you're gonna have a pipette um the pipettes that we use are perfect to to fit on the, the three-way um valve some people prefer to get their own valves and put their own um ai rods on it the only problem with that is some of the ai rods don't stay on it as perfectly as ours ours are i can stand by and say that they will not pop off once you twist them on but anyway let's get this um put together bro so you're gonna go ahead now and you're gonna yeah you're gonna take that out first you know what? I'm gonna probably need to throw some gloves on just in case I gotta get my hands dirty. So yeah, so you're gonna go ahead and take that out. You can show them the valve real quick. So yeah, so that's the three-way AI valve, right? Um, in medical terms, I believe they call it a stop cock, something like that. So you're gonna go ahead, yeah. So you're gonna go ahead and twist those on. You can take the, um, yeah. So now these white pieces come off. So you can take those off, screw those off. Yep, you can give them to me, I'll throw them, okay. discard them. Put them right there. Yeah. And you can go ahead and um, twist those oh. off. <laughs> Alright, so nice, easy twist on. Yep. Alright. Cool, cool, right. cool. So now we got, yeah, so now we got the two um, syringes loaded into the three-way AI valve. So now all we need to do is where is the pipette? So I'm gonna show you this, right? Cause this may be a little tricky for you at first. Yeah. So we're gonna, it's in a wrap. You wanna keep this in this wrap until you're ready to do your breeding. So now we're just gonna expose the yellow um, 
part that's going to attach to the three-way eye valve. So now this comes off. So you'll screw that, unscrew that. Same thing, we'll discard that. So now that that's off, you can go ahead now and what you'll want to do is take this uh, silicone or rubber looking piece and you're going to take this piece because it has a threading on it and you're going to twist, twist it on it. All right? So you can try that out. And you're going to want to firmly twist it on there. You know, um, it may be a little difficult at first, but if you firmly twist it on there, then you don't have to worry about it coming off. You know what I'm saying? So there's no like threading on the pipette. So you got to really just force it on there. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to just push it and force it and twist it at the same time. It's not going to go on like um, super easy, you know? Yeah. Let me take a look and see. Yeah, that looks good. That looks really good, actually. Yep, exactly. Perfect. You could actually, you could have twisted it maybe a little bit more. Like I said, you don't have to get, don't worry about, like, it's not going to rip. It's not going to break. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see, I got a little bit more on there. You know what I'm saying? But now you tug on this. I mean, you tug on this. It's not going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's not going anywhere. So I'm just going to, yeah, see? You see, it's all the way at the end. You know? So now we're good. So now um, when we're ready, we'll go ahead and we'll take the semen. Put in one of these syringes, lubricate the AI rod, do our AI. So double muscle line in. How we looking with um collection? All right. So all right. So let's get. We're gonna get her set up and ready to go, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, do our AI. The number one goal is we can't have what happened with Bambi. Uh, <laughs> happen again. Yeah. yeah. That's about as it gets right there. So, yeah. So, anyway, guys. So, I'm going to try to work the camera at the same time as I'm narrating. instructing. And luckily, yeah, as I'm narrating. And Double Muscle Line Ant is here to help. So, you know, uh, we can get all angles for you. Because if I just leave it and I help, then you might not get all the angles you guys want to see. So, real quick. I don't know if you guys can see. But on the microscope, it's looking really good. Um, let me see if I can come in and see. The microscope is looking really good. Plenty of sperm moving all over the place. Tails, swimming straight. That's what you want to see, you know? So anyway, um, so now we got Capri right here, and we're going to go ahead and knock out this breeding. So uh, what we're going to do is we need to go ahead and shift her body and turn her around. So we have her rear facing this way. There you go. And now, Aunt, uh, do you want to show real quick the, the, the three-way eye kit? So we have our semen in the bottom syringe. We have um, air at the top syringe. And we have our pipette ready to go. So now all we need to do is lubricate the, the, the pipette that's going to go inside the female. Um, and like I said, we've kept it sterile by keeping the, the bag over it. And um, we're going to go ahead and put some lubrication on our fingers as well and go ahead and inseminate her. So, uh, yeah, you want to go ahead and... Um, Put the lube on. Whatever finger you're gonna use to go inside, that's the finger you wanna use to lube. Because if you if you glue both fingers up, then you know you're gonna have this shit when yeah, you know, it's gonna get all slippery and shit like that. Right, so I guess this is gonna be the finger. That's enough. Um, just put you know, just be generous about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting it on the tip of the pipe is also going to play a key part yeah. because that's what loses the most amount of lube when you put it in there. Yeah. You know? He'll probably want to do it with his left. Yeah, you're gonna. My left. Yeah, I can use either. Yeah, I, go. uh, I can wipe both. Uh, it don't really matter. It don't really matter if he's got a little bit of lubricant on both gloves. It's a fine. Yeah. Well, no, it's I was fine. just gonna say because yeah. it, it'll make it a little. But I'm, I'll just help him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so, so that's good. Uh, I should put some on my turn, right? Uh. Or her. He's doing everything. You could put, have it on standby just in case. Have it on standby just in case. So, all right. You don't, you don't got to go crazy with the lube. As long as there's plenty of lube on there, sometimes I glob it like crazy. It's not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? So, you don't got to be a masterpiece. Yeah, that's you good. know? So, that's, that's fine. fine. That's fine. On, just on your finger, whatever finger you use, and just make sure because you're going to, 
You're gonna have to stick your finger in or like, yeah. at least a little knuckle. Yeah, you know? I need more on there. Yeah. yeah. Quick. Huh? I, I think he should use his left. The left, the left because yeah. because the left is gonna be the finger that goes in. His right is gonna, be, gonna be using the, the pipette. To, yeah, the guider so, so, to to guide the pipette I into her. So I would use swap. yeah, I would use um. It's fine if he's got it on his hand. It'll just get over the syringe, but who cares? We're going to throw it out afterwards. So I want it on this finger. On that finger, yes. Yep, there you go. Lubing up. I'm, I'm the artificial finger right now. This is sick. Yeah. So you got some left. Now you got a nice amount. So. Right, this, this is the part. So yeah, so now... When you stick your finger in, you're going to want to go in, but up and over, yeah, up but, but. and over. All right. Okay. And it, it's really hard um, because what you're trying to avoid is um, where she urinates from, really. Mm, but it's very hard. It's very hard to get that. It's very hard to hit that. So You'd I'm have to almost do that. So. You're just going to go. Straight up like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna go like from down here mm -hmm. and like that. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, don't be afraid. Yeah, don't be afraid. Go ahead. Go so up. up. And then yeah, you gotta go over the little critter. Or yeah, so over that. Yes, okay, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm over that. I see where I'm supposed to be at. Yeah. Just keep your finger there. Mm -hmm. So now the, the main main trick with this mm -hmm. i grab this one with, with your right hand yeah. so the pipette this is where you're gonna i gotta lead it your 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 yeah the pipette is gonna go over your finger yeah, it's gonna your follow finger. your finger so you're gonna come in from the side from the side of your finger and use the top like you're pretty much using the top of your finger as a guy yeah yeah. Oh, yeah it's going straight across my finger yep so now you're gonna okay. you're going up now you're gonna have to yeah bend it up a little bit yep, i just Mm -hmm. Past that corner. Um, Going a little more. Sometimes, sometimes you got to wiggle your finger up there. Wiggle your finger, not the pipe at so much, but your finger, and it'll cause it to go in more. Mm -hmm. well, there, you there you go. Perfect. And when she's and when the numbers are right, yeah. when the breeding when numbers are right, you'll usually be able to get that whole pipe in there, like, just like that, which That's is good. perfect. That's, That's perfect. That's really where you want it, right at the end of that pipe bed. Okay. So now we're going to yeah. go ahead now. And um, go ahead and now twist the valve so that it's just the semen going through. Uh, twist it which way? To stop one. Yep, stop way. one, yeah. So a little bit more. You want it going perfectly. Right yep, there. just like that. That's stop one. Okay. So now go ahead, go ahead and push the semen through. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Semen now, through. Yep, now, now stop two. Switch it to stop two. two. Other way, other, other way. way. Luckily, she's working with us very well. Yep, yep, just push, right there. Now right. push the air through. Okay. And now yeah. go ahead and set it to stop three, which means turn it this way. Next one. Like that. Next one, one more. One more. Yep. And now keep your finger in there and now pull out the pipette. And uh, pull out. And we got the styrofoam container that we're going to go ahead and use to, to prop her up on. So she's more elevated and the semen goes downward. Keep your Whatever you do, keep your finger. Yep. And that's it. That's pretty much it, bro. So all you're going to do now is keep your finger in there. You know what I'm saying? For a few minutes. You know, make sure nothing comes back out. It's going to simulate as if the male was being bred to. Uh, if the male, you know, his penis was in there. And then we're going to every so often, exactly. You're going to do exactly that, which is going to cause her to, to draw the semen in more and more. And... Um, that's it, man. You did your first AI. <laughs> Not that bad, man. Not that bad. Not that bad, right? Honestly, sounds a lot more scary than what it Yo, is. Yo, we popped That's his sick. cherry. <laughs> He's not a virgin <laughs> anymore, man. That's it. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, you guys got to see firsthand somebody who's never done an AI doing an AI. So, like I said, I hope this was helpful, guys. So... That's pretty much it. So now we got this box to keep her elevated. So the semen goes downward in a downward motion. So we're going to, uh, he's going to have his hand there for like the next maybe five minutes. And then after the five minutes, we'll try to keep her elevated. If you have the time, I mean, ideally 20 minutes to a half hour, 
you know, really keep that semen down in there so it doesn't come back out and you don't just waste the, the collection that you just spent your time doing, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. Um, we, 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 we popped this cherry. He's no longer a virgin. He knows, you know, Sick. knows what to do now when it comes to doing an AI. You know what I'm saying? So um, hopefully we'll see you guys next episode and hopefully maybe next episode we can confirm if we got some puppies on the way or not. All right. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Breeders Hacks. Peace.